Hello everybody again. It's uh, raining outside so I've got a bit of spare time. Uh, what I thought we'd do is uh, review what we've gone through so far about the Back to Basics um, videos I've been doing. Um, if you look a little bit closer at the tools here, because I've forgotten to mention one or two things in the past few videos. Uh, I was explaining the differences between uh, the wagtails. The older one, as you see with the yellow disc here, comes with the clips, which is a pretty good method and a sort of a thinnish sort of pad, but it works very well. Uh, the thing about these though, is the blade itself is quite thin and if you're going to dog ear it, like I was telling you about in the last video, these ends can break off fairly easy in use. I've had about three go on me, but uh, the good news is when you move on to the newer type, there's like a ridge actually in the blade there, which makes it much stronger. I don't know whether you can actually see that ridge there. So when you actually dog ear it, like you see on these all of my tools, uh, it won't break off generally unless you drop it from a great height or something. But you should always check you've got the right angles and they haven't broken off. Now, this is the original wagtail with the yellow disc and then it moved on to the blue ribboned one and you'll get a sort of a pad like this but uh, you'll tend to get a bit of shrinkage in it and I've cut too much off this one but it doesn't matter because I've got other pads and as I was showing you before this one attaches with with the velcro absolutely brilliant tool and of course it's called the slim line because it's got a slim blade as opposed to the old one you can see there and as I was telling you before you can actually put stainless steel channels in if you want but you can't then use the pad but I'm actually working on that then moving on to the whirlwind it's basically the same as this one here except there's a new pad really and the velcro is a different colour <laughs> that goes on there now this pad seems to be a lot better than the other ones and I haven't uh, detected any shrinkage as yet and the ends are already rounded off uh, what I've been doing with mine with the previous pads is actually rounding them off myself because they're so stiff the velcro bits here that they'll actually interfere with the window frame itself so I've cut them at an angle but as you see with the new whirlwind it's already rounded off I haven't been able to use this very often but at, at the moment it seems like a really good pad on this one and as you'll see I've uh, dog-eared it and as I was showing you in my previous video this was the tool that uh, left all the soap around all the edges but now it's been dog-eared it's just as good as all the others it's absolutely brilliant uh, something else I forgot as well I didn't tell you what the file was for when I was dog-earing outside on this particular tool, this was the one I was demonstrating on it's just to uh, smooth off any rough edges any sharp edges left after you've uh, cut it etc now if you get this tool, the whirlwind, you'll find the pad a little bit stiff at first in fact you might do with all of them and it'll take a little bit of breaking in a couple of times in the washing machine and then it'll be absolutely spot on no problem at all now what else Let's see if I've got everything right. Um, oh yeah, the dog earring. If it doesn't work, then you've done something wrong. Because it's an absolutely spot on modification, which I use all the time and I just couldn't do my job without this anymore. So, that's about it for now. So now you know the difference between the particular tools and uh, see you again next time.